Welcome back to another edition of DDO 10 Minute Tips. This time we're going to go over um, deciphering your gear. Uh, it can be a little confusing at times and hopefully I'll be able to get through this and make your life a little bit easier. Now if you notice I've got a lot of windows open here and this is very handy whenever you want to uh, compare several items and it's really very easy to do you locate the item you want let's say quarter staff of feeding here you click on it then you press the Z key it brings up uh, an examination window just like these and to keep it open while you open others you click the lock icon right here and it'll keep it open though you may focus on something else so if you notice I've got the lock icon icon here but not here that's because these are locked open so you go like that click change your focus and it stays there and then to close it of course you just hit close all right now as you go through and play you're gonna collect a lot of different items and you need to have a little bit of an idea of what you're looking at uh, there are many different things to look at um, when it comes to weapons you have something called a base damage rating uh, there's a calculation for that it's based upon uh, the rolls that aren't critical hits and the rolls that are critical hits and the average of the regular damage okay so but I'm, I'm not going to go into that calculation so just bear with us here if you want to look it up you can look it up it's in the DDO wiki at ddowiki.com all right so the base damage rating is a good place to start when you're looking at uh, uh, weapons here Okay. One of the other things you want to look at is the amount of damage and any pluses. So here we have Lorne's Blade, which I picked up in Corthos Village. It does 1d8 and no additional damage. The critical roll is if you roll a 19 or 20 naturally on a 20-sided die. If you do that, and there's a confirmation roll that goes along with it, um, and it's starting to get a little arcane even for me that's been playing Dungeons and Dragons, but if it's confirmed as a critical hit, uh, you'll the system will roll damage dice twice. So if you roll a natural 19 or 20 with Lauren's Blade, you get to roll two d8 for the damage. Attack modifier plus four which means that whenever you roll to hit whatever you roll you add a plus four to. So if you roll a ten the strength modifier would be a plus four which would give you a fourteen. And then based upon the defenses of uh, whatever you're attacking you'll have uh, a hit or not. All right, damage modifier. Okay, that's above and beyond the damage of the weapon itself. I have a plus four, which means that whatever I roll for damage, four would get added to it. Now, Lorne's Blade is also a Bane weapon. Okay, which means that on a certain type of uh, monster or opponent, 
it does an additional uh, amount of damage. So Lorne's Blade against human monstrous humanoids, okay, it gets an extra one to six points. So you would get the regular damage, uh, plus four for strength, and then additional one to six points because if it's a monstrous humanoid, you'd get an additional one to six points. Okay. So, all right, a reconstructed longbow of slaying. Okay. Um, base damage rating is probably figured the same way as before, but it has a plus two, and you'll notice there's a 1.25. That 1.25 is because it has an increased weapon die, which means it does one and a quarter the 1d8. Or damage. Okay, and attack modifier is uh, based on dexterity. I have plus three on that. Okay, now reconstruction 47. Okay, this is for spellcasters. It gives you a, four, a 47 in equipment bonus to rust and repair spells. So that increases the power of those spells. Okay, it's a spell casting instrument, which means you get a bonus to universal spell power of plus four. Okay, and this is also a Bane weapon. And against aberrations, it deals an extra d10 of damage. Plus two deft two club of draining. All right, deft two. This number is very important. Okay. Once again, go through and everything's figured the same, but this time a critical hit occurs on a natural twenty. Uh, the five percent here. You'll sometimes see 10, 15, 20 percent. It's just a reflection of what the uh, critical rule is here. Each number is 5 percent. A 20 is 5 percent. If this were 19, it would be 10 percent. If it was 18, it would be 15 percent. If it was 17, it would be 20 percent of the time that that it'll get rolled. All right. Now it's a seeker. The deft here means uh, seeker. It's a plus two, which means that on the confirm critical hit roll, it would be a plus two before the determination is made as to whether it's a critical hit or not. Draining. Okay. It's also a vorpal weapon. Okay, which means it does something a little bit special. Okay, in this case, the target incurs one negative level, so if it's a level five, it gets dropped to a level four. And I would gain two temporary spell points. Okay. Uh, on this one, uh, okay of sonic lore. Anything you see with lore on it, you can pretty much figure that it has to do or would be a benefit to uh, spellcasters. Okay, sonic lore 5. The number is important. Alright, down here, uh, the sonic lore 5 it gives an equipment bonus to sonic spells chance to critical hit. So any sonic spells uh, gets an improvement on critical hits. Okay, now here's a flame-touched rapier of critical piercing three. Again, the three is going to be very important. Okay, flame-touched. 
a uh, little bit about it there. It's a special iron. Okay, it does 1d6 chaos damage with each hit. And the weapon's critical piercing effect, critical piercing 3, critical hit does an additional 3d6 of piercing damage above and beyond if it's a critical hit. So, uh, on a natural 20 for any weapon, it would be do an additional uh, 3 to 18 points of damage. Okay. Critical bludgeoning, 2. Okay, once again, everything here is pretty much the same down here. Uh, let's see, it does an additional d6 of cold damage. But down here, uh, it does an additional 2d6 of bludgeon damage if it's a critical hit, if you roll a critical hit. Okay, bracers. Okay, this um, gets away from weapons. All right. Any ro uh, anytime I need to roll against reflex, my reflexes, I get a plus two. Fortification. All right, fortification. Um, basically reduces your chance of taking a critical hit. So you want to get that as high as possible. So uh, you want to get it up to you know, basically a hundred somewhere along the way. And that ring gave me a 40. All right, Jade Ring. All right, a resistance plus one. Gives a bonus to fortitude, reflex, and will saving throws. So anything that requires a roll of a fortitude check, a reflex check, or a will check, um, I get an extra one on that roll. Now augment slots. Uh, a lot of items have augments, augment slots where you can slip in uh, augments to give you special. buffs, uh, special increases in ability and things like that. The Jade Ring uh, gives a plus one to my Charisma, and if I put in another uh, color uh, diamond, uh, the one that's in there now will be destroyed and be replaced with a new one. Okay. Uh, alkaline Chainmail Shirt of Move Silent. Five. Okay, move silently five. Uh, gives an additional five points towards being able to move quietly. And that's just in chain mail. Okay, and it also, alkaline 13, uh, gives an acid absorption of 13 additional percent. So these numbers are based on a particular unit for whatever is being used. So Moving silently uh, is based around a d20, so five points on that goes a long way. 13% it would be based on a 100% scale, so that's a pretty decent uh, increase. All right, now Hardy outfit, Hardy one outfit of Sonic Guard one, what we're currently wearing. Okay, Hard Hardy. It gives a plus one in constitution. So any rolls against the uh, constitution will uh, I'll get an extra point on that. And it also has sonic guard. Um, in this case, the one means one d six, and anytime I take a hit, whoever hit me takes one d six in damage. Okay, so time's just about up. I'm going to call it quits. And until next time, thank you for watching. And to remember, my friends, keep your weapons clean and sharp.